This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1614. I'm your host, Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. Welcome to Monday. And I've got one of those tough interview questions for you. I think you'll get a kick out of If you like, play along. Pause the podcast. See if you can come up with the answer. Hope you find it helpful and give it a great review wherever you listen to the show. And by the way, have you visited my website recently? If you go to TheBigGameHunter.us, I've got thousands of posts you can watch, listen to, or read to help you find work more quickly. And if one evening you're home... And you've got an Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, any number of video platforms with apps for them. Download BingeNetworks.tv. Look for me there. Job Search TV is the name of the show. And uh, you can watch me on TV. And with that, let's get going. And today I want to talk with you about one of those tough interview questions that It's obviously not a tough question, but it's an interesting question from your standpoint because there's a signal that's being sent in the question. Let me tell you, uh, give it to you, okay? So, by the way, if we're not connected on LinkedIn, send a connection request to me at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. And if you're interested in my coaching you, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. There's information there that you can watch, listen to, or read, plus tabs along the top that will tell you uh, how to reach out to me for coaching. Now, here's the question. You go to the store and you buy some some things for $9. You hand them a $10 bill and go home. And then you open your wallet or purse and discover that you have $20 there. They obviously gave you the wrong change. What do you do? Do you keep it? Do you go to the store? Do you donate it? What do you do? Jeopardy music, please. Do, 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 do. Okay, so here's the answer. You go back to the store. You give them $19 and change. Because remember, you gave them 10 to pay for 9 so you have $1 back. And then from there, you give them 19 and explain what happened. But here's the employer question. Because there's a signal in they're asking the question that they have an issue with honesty in their firm. Because that's really what the question's about. It wouldn't be asked of someone beyond simply low-level administrative roles. or uh, It's not going to be asked of people in a professional capacity. It's going to be asked for staff. It's going to be asked for less experienced people. Because they want to know if you're honest or not. So here's the question you would ask once you've answered the question. The question you would ask is, and it's, it's an interesting question that you posed, because it signals to me that perhaps you have an issue beyond simply wanting to know the answer. Am I reading too much into this, or is there an issue around honesty and integrity around here that this question signals? Now, you're giving them a, an out on answering the on answering that right because what you're saying maybe I'm reading too much into this because it's hard for some firms to admit that that is the issue but what you've done is show that you have a, a wisdom and maturity beyond simply giving the straightforward answer uh, and letting it uh, lay there uh, so the straightforward answer is I go back with the money, I give them $19 back and explain what happened, to asking them, you know, is, am I reading too much into this, or is there something related to honesty or integrity that's behind the question? Is that a problem for you here? And, you know, how would I... And, and, You've opened this up as an area of conversation for them to reveal to you and show that you have a maturity and a wisdom that goes beyond the the obvious. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job.
If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, it's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. Have a few questions? Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling in time for Magnify or Presto Experts, speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.